So here is the background all put together and I am going to go ahead and we're going to build the clusters. So all the embellishing on this page and I'm going to start with by putting this string of lights, which I adore down here on the bottom and I'm going to build a cluster right here. And I can tell you for a fact that nothing that I build here will go down in the same spot when I go to glue it. I'm going to move that for just a second, but it'll be, it'll be close. I'm aiming for things to hit the, about where I put them here. So like I said, I have gone ahead and put down or grabbed all of the food related um, elements from the collection. So I do love that. They are super fun. I also grabbed these fun trees because I thought they were kind of cute too. So I'm going to stick those on. And then have a little candy cane. It's not Christmas without a candy cane somewhere. And then I have my little glitter snowflakes and then I can bring this back over here. So it's going to go somewhere along here. So this will look something like that. So it's pretty busy. <laughs> I did warn you that it is definitely going to be a busy layout. Uh, but I definitely think the um, adding the color around all of these items definitely helps. And this is really funny. I eat candy from a sock, which I thought was hilarious. So that is definitely going on here because it's just too cute. And the label here. I like to tuck and layer. I don't really care that this says date. I don't plan to put the date in that exact spot. So I'm okay with covering that up and just trying to figure out where I want to place everything at this point. not 100% sure how I want to lay this out yet. So I definitely think this will be my biggest cluster. I'm just not 100% sure how I'm going to fill it in. I don't know how I want it to look yet. This is what happens when I don't pre-plan my pages. I try to sit here and figure out where I want to put everything and everything moves. It's fantastic. So I definitely can tell you that um, the glitter snowflakes, I will definitely be popping those up um, in some way on the page. I do know that much. Um, and then as for Other elements, I'll probably pop up a few other things. Again, I want to add some dimension to the page because obviously I do not have um, anything other than paper on the page right now. Everything is all a paper element. So yeah, I definitely want to pop some things up, get some dimension on the page. That's for sure. So I know I want to build a cluster over here and it's all really just about layering at this point that's really all I'm doing is just layering up all of these elements I'm trying to get um, some sort of design going so again it will definitely change nothing ever stays exactly how I place it and I know I want to put this, oh, what fun, and I want to curve it so it lands up here. So this is probably going to move up here because I want to have this connected to this embellishment cluster. So I do know that. 
not, I know that this is going to be clustered up here like this. And like I said, that is going to, this is going to kind of start the side of this so that I can put um, it connected up here at the top. So I think once I have that, I'm just going to come in here with the rest of these stars. And for each star, I have a snowflake that's going to kind of cascade down the page, I think, is my plan here. So we will put these down, get these things in place. Ooh, my snowflake is falling apart. I'll have to fix that. And then I might need to punch another snowflake because or I could put that one over there probably. And I think that is probably how this one's going to come together. I'm going to go ahead and glue all of these down. And then the only thing I'm going to do is add some sequins just again to add some sparkle to the page. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that off camera. So you will see these uh, sparkly sequins come into play. Just a few scattered around. Not a whole lot because, again, there's a lot going on. And I am getting some sparkle from these snowflakes. These snowflakes will be popped up. And so you will see all of that in the still photos. So again, just a reminder, go check out the blog post. See what everyone has created for today. And uh, be sure to hit up uh, Tracy's shop and grab this collection or any other of her amazing collections. Uh, she has two new ones out for Christmas, so those are awesome as well, especially because we are in that Christmas season. Lots of Christmas uh, scrapbooking is happening. So with that, we are going to call this one done, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.